Hey, Bright Coders, this is Alex, and this is the Bright Code channel. If you are interested in programming, productivity, digital nomad, remember to click down below the button and then click on the bell so you can be updated to everything we love here. In our second video of our series, it says Astro, and we are going to try to install Astro and fetch information from the backend on WordPress. I think it's going to be pretty cool, and let's do it right now. Okay, so um, in the last video, we talked a little bit about how the GraphQL works, which is it's just uh, the idea to try to simplify and make several API uh, requests in just one. I mean, it's, a, it's more or less the global concept. So for now, in this video, the idea is that we are going to install Astro, try to make a small fetch work for the data that we, that we will need and try to understand how to add some of the, the data that we are going to work out. Uh, so the first thing that we need to do is to try to understand how to make these fetch things, this fetch request directly, for example, on something like a Postman. So let's, let's try to do it. Here we have the IDE for the GraphQL. And I also have the uh, sec. I have the um, GraphQL, WP GraphQL docs over here. So we are going to make some tests for it. And I also have the Astro. So with this, I have here the Postman. I was before the, the, the video, I was trying to do the same, the same uh, query over here. I wanted to do it here on Postman. And to do that, the easiest is, I mean, the, the common way is just to try to make an adjacent that is a stringified with the information that we are going to try to request. So in that case, I have the value number, name it query. We can also add another value to the JSON called variables, but we are going to leave it for our next video. Just for now, we only need the title, the post, and that's it, nothing else. So we have then the query and the post value. So in that case, if I enter over there, it's gonna send the request and it should return me the um, the um, the post. So let's see what it returns. That's what I mean. Okay, cool. So it's the same information that we are having over here. So as you can see, great, cool. So what about if I need more than that? I would like to, so for these, um, post info that we are going to try to show, it will, we will need all the things. Okay, but I wanted to show you one thing before. So Postman has also a GraphQL interface over here. So it was pretty will be like a pretty similar to this thing that we have on the right, but with Postman. Okay, so in the past, I already did something like that. And I took the uh, one of this query, this one query post, and I can just simply send it. And in this case, we are always saying, gonna send Okay, and, and the other one, the other query that we did. So we are going to send them to the domain slash GraphQL. So I'm going to send it. It's going to be a post, and it's going to return us the information. So in this case, uh, it will be the similar graphical IDE, which is, um, to be honest, I like it better than this, but the thing is that this has the values that we can use on the developer GraphQL. So nah, but for now, we're going to just use this one, okay? So we're going to have post, the notes, the ID, the title, and let's see the URI. So in this case, if I send this, it will give us the URL. And I also want to bring the, the image for, for our listing. Okay. So it will be something like a fair media, fair media. Let's see, fill the image. And I can tell it, okay, return me the uh, URI. Let's see if it returns for me. Ta -da -da. Okay, I have to add the note. Uh, note and URI. Let's see. Let's see if this works. Yeah, this works. Okay, so this is the... This, yeah, there you go. So we have the future image. So which post are we bringing? We are bringing, let me show you these two that I had on the, on the test. So this, this, this test, 
It's just for GraphQL, which is the video that we added. I already added an image for it. And we are going to then say, okay, I need, I need that better the, the whole URL. So in that case, it will be media item, uh, URL. Okay. If I do this, it will be this. If I pass it over here in theory, it should work. Let's see, let's see if it works. And there you go. Yeah, we have, we have the URL. Okay, cool. So now we have the information. We want to iterate this information and show it in a place. So we are going to include Astro. So, well, the whole series is about Astro and Astro, as I said, is an SPA framework that is agnostic. You can use React components, Vue.js components, Svelte. So for now, we're going to make a simple installation. We are going to try to fetch the information and we will go a little bit for that for now. Okay. So how we can do that? Uh, we are going to make this over here and we have Astro and we go here to the main page and it says just simply MPA and create Astro latest, which is great. So we just simply copy and paste. Okay. I don't have MPA in here, but I have MUM. You want to know what is exactly MUM is? It's like a manager for several node versions that you can use on your computer. And um, when I use the stable, which is the 18 version that I have right now. And let's see, Astro latest, it says, welcome Houston. So Astro is because astronauts, uh, I love it, it's pretty cool. Um, or should we create a new, there you go. Include sample files, uh, files. yes. We are gonna use to try to use the block template for now, this video. I mean, when I, when, when I started to bring more components, and uh, I'm gonna real design for it. Uh, I'm gonna use another one, but well, for now it's okay. Let's go and install the dependencies. So let's see. This is the server we don't need it over here for now. Uh, would you like to use TypeScript? Yes, we are gonna use TypeScript. Let's gonna to use a strict. So I think it's gonna add it our slint for it, which is great. And no repository for now. Just a sounds good. Explore your project. There you go. Okay, so it did create a new one thing here. And we can then use the my favorite sublime. Set gonna do this. And we have over here the basic structure. So what exactly Astro does? So Astro, it is similar to Next.js, so any anything that is under the pages, anything that is under the pages is going to automatically create the roles for it. So the, anything that goes, for example, the index, Astro, about, that Astro, that whatever, slash, like in a folder over here, the, like, a, like a, the block and the index and things like that, is going to create the rules for it. So how we can run this. So let's see, we have, let me I mean, just see this, select something like a pride code, local. Uh, we're, we're gonna try to figure out that later better, but for now it's okay. So we have over here, so we have npn depth. So it will be npm, the same npn run depth. And it says that we can run this on the main um, URL. Okay, cool. So I'm going to leave this. Let's see what we have here. There you go. We have Astro. Okay, this is a template. Of course, um, we are going to try to figure out that later. But for now, as I told you, so the index value is going to show us the home. If I so if I add the about, you can see that we have the road about, about it, which is just a file that we have here we have it about here so one of the things that i love about this this thing is how fast it is so, so let me show you how it is if i do on a small change something here like uh, a recorder and i do save immediately it changed you see it's so fast it's incredible um Preparing this video, I found a couple issues about, um, with, uh, uh, part of my backend, but I'm going to try to fix it on the upcoming videos. 
but I mean, the, the, the way as this Astro thing works is amazing. I mean, it's something that I haven't, I haven't seen in a while, to be honest. I mean, several small things really, I mean, not that much things in brass wing, but this thing is just like a huge, you know. So, okay, so we have the blog over here, and this, it has like a several blog posts that have been integrated. And you can see them over here in this MD things. We are not going to use them. And so the idea is that we are going to try to take all the information we have with the GraphQL to try to show it over here. So let's see how we can do it. For now, let's going to try to use it fast. And one of the things that we need to understand is that this has its own console. So Astro runs on a server and everything that runs over here before in between these three lines, these three dash lines over here, this everything is TypeScript or JavaScript, which is our script song, you know? So we can set up whatever and we can set up the components over here, which is pretty smart and pretty cool. So if I do a console log here, I'm just, uh, let's see something like a, Hey guys, if I save it, okay, this is, this is not, this isn't the one I'll send. Turn, 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 here. We save it here and this will be our, this, this one. So if I do this one sec, you will see that it, it shows over here. So if we want to set up these then on the on the console of the browser, the it will be something like this. Uh there you go. Okay. It's now showing over there. So remember anything that shows over here is rendering and use it by the server, not by the browser. So it's a pretty cool thing to know because it took me a while to try to understand it for you. But well, for now, I'm gonna just use this. So what is it this doing? Is it is it taking all the collection and the information from this, um, this contents, this MD files, but we are not gonna use that. Uh, one thing that I want you to understand about this is that it has layout. So what is a layout? Okay, so in a layout, it's a, let's say like a composition that you can create for your websites. So in this case, for example, uh, the blog post, the layout here, the layout blog post Astro, which is the main thing is that, is it creating like a whole wrapper for the system? So you can see it has like a style, head, whatever, but you can also import the components over here and you can use it here. And this, this, law, this small thing called slot, that thing, is exactly where the information of the inner pages are going to show. So in this case, for example, Astro, as you can see, it says, hey, to use the component layout and everything that is here is going to be printed over here on the slot. So it's pretty important that we, we can, you can create as more layers of, as, as, as much layouts as you want, but it's always important that you set up the slot. So that that's exactly what it, the system is going to put inside when you just just wrap it by the layout itself, okay? So just keep it in mind, and and uh, we can we can go for that later, you know. Uh, but for now, let's gonna try to fetch the information that we have. So how we can do the fetch information for this? Cool. So we take this info here. Remember that all this information I'm gonna try to keep it uploaded in our GitHub repo. So. Um, if you, of course, have comments, questions, whatever, please leave them. We'd really like um, when you, you know, when you uh, give us ideas for this. So I will be waiting for you in the comments. Okay, so we can comment, we can copy and paste this. And for now, I'm going to just simply delete this because we're not going to use it. And we are going to say, hey, you know what? Just go to HTTP, try code tab, local. GraphQL, and we are gonna then say, hey, please send these. Um, I have this this query way here. Put do. Let's see. We have this. 
This is where you can set up the variables for now. We are not going to set up any variables, but yeah, let's kind of leave it over there for later. So it's going to show us this and it should tell us. So I'm going to tell, okay, so go to there, go and post, use the JSON, stringify this, bring me the info, and we are going to have to print it. So console lock. Uh, post and we are going to say JSON stringify for the JSON data. Let's see if it works. So yes, as, as you can see, if it, if it, everything works, it's going to give us the first, now this is going to be the data, which is one of the things that, uh, that I, I didn't even know, you know, a RESTful API, you can create any, uh, you know, you can create any schema that you want, but GraphQL have a very strict ref, uh, uh, schema for it. So it's always going to return first the data property, which is super important and easy for me. I mean, not for me, for me, for any developer. When I created any API in the past, I always have an perfect structure that I use. But the difference between this is, I mean, yeah, my API is not going to be the same as that. I don't know, Facebook, Google, whatever. You know, so the idea of the GraphQL is that always is going to return you one specific schema, the same one for all, you know, so data, exceptions, whatever, you know, so it's an, a base standard for, for all the returns, which is pretty important and pretty cool. Okay. So we can, we can figure, figure out that in the other videos, but for now it's uh, just a reference for you. So let's see, let's see what it does return. Is it telling me the Post is not okay. Yes, it's um. Let's let's gonna comment this for now. It is loading. There you go. Oh, look at that. We have the posts. Great. Okay, so we have posts. We have the title. We have date. It's gonna use these um, IDE that we have, I mean, the, the info that we have on the IDE, that's gonna change this query for now. So it will be something like this. One second, I just, just don't want to mess with the indentation that we have here. And dun, 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 dun. There you go. Let's see. Yes. And it is, re it is reloading. <laughs> Anytime that I save it, it loads over right away. Let's see what it does return. Okay, cool. We have, we have the info here. Perfect. Okay. So what we need to iterate. So let's see. We have then it will be pause. Post notes and post, yeah, it's post. It should okay, yeah. So it will let's let's gonna name this like a post. It will be then post. So it will be then post data notes, and it's gonna map that, and we are gonna use this that information to put this here. A post UD, which is exactly the one that we use it. We also use Fuder image. Don't do there we go. And we have the media item URL. We have then the post title, which is already set. We are not gonna use it the date for now. And let's save it and let's see what it does return. It's a telling me that it's an error reading map. Post data notes. Let's see what it does. Let's see what is the returning here. Um, one hundred twenty-two. One hundred twenty-two here. So it's be okay. 
So both is going to be this. Let's see what it is. And uh, pose data. Let's see. Let's see again what it is. So let me comment this. Let's see what it does respond. It is undefined. Okay, it's not. It's not data. Let's see. So it is notes. Let's see. Ah, it's post notes. There you go. But that's where the error is. And for the Featured image, you said the note. Ah, oh, great. Okay. So let's try it again. Let's see if we have it here. So pose. So it will be. It will be then. Uh, pose. So. Pose data, pose notes. And it will be pose featured image note that media URL. Let's see if it works. Let's see if it loads. There you go. We have the images and we have the two. And is it, is it is even creating the URL for it, which is, I also added, you know, it's not going to work because I am not um, showing the single page for now. Uh, but well, you know, it, if, I, if I add more posts, it should work. Let's see. Let's see if we add a new post and how it works. Can add a new image. Let's see. <laughs> this is the post for Astro. And we can then. Let's see. Let's just add the pasta carbonara. Pasta carbonara for this page. I don't know. Let's see if that works. I can publish. There you go. And if I go here and I load again, it should then bring me the new post of this. And yes, this is the post for Astro. And we have our past the carbonara image if it loads someday yeah to do it and there you go um so we have created the astro we have fetched some post images and let's go better with this have an amazing new year i hope you all the wish uh wish the best wish you the best and i hope to see you in the next video and the next year bye bye